If there's one thing we know about winter in the tri-state is that we have to be ready for anything. Past seasons have ranged from mild to wild. So what will this one bring? Well, Storm Team 4 has been studying the models and talking with the experts. And meteorologist Janice Huff has some answers tonight in her winter weather outlook. Long before snow hits Yonkers and the roads ice over, the Department of Public Works is prepping for anything. We have about 40 trucks, 7,000 tons of salt, and a million dollars for overtime. Commissioner Tom Meyer has it all under control, except... Every commissioner, every director of public works in the Northeast wants to know how much snow will we get, um, how cold will it get. The months ahead promise to be an adventure, thanks to what experts call a triple-dip La Nina. For the third straight year, we look to cooler waters in the eastern Pacific Ocean to have a ripple effect across the globe, steering the jet stream north of the tri-state. It brings us milder temperatures and more rain than snow. But it doesn't mean that holds for every day of every week of the winter. David Robinson is New Jersey's state climatologist and runs the the global snow lab at Rutgers University. You could have two storms come up the East Coast and give us a couple feet of snow. Timing is everything. In recent years, our snow totals have yo-yoed from less than five inches to more than three feet. There's a lot of complexities here. A big contributor to the winter whiplash is the temperature. Just look at last winter. When December averaged above 43 degrees, January plunged below freezing, and February was way up. Overall, temperatures are trending up due to climate change, and winter is impacted the most. In the last decade, our 30-year average winter temperature has increased a full degree. That can actually increase our chance of a big snow because warmer air holds more moisture. When it's pulled into a strong coastal storm and collides with cold Canadian air, look out. The country's Climate Prediction Center factors it all into their forecast for the coming months. We have a slight tilt towards warmer than normal temperatures along the eastern seaboard. And when it comes to precipitation, as this forecast map shows, the experts have us sandwiched between two extremes. So here's your Storm Team 4 checklist for this winter. Have lots of different coats ready, especially lighter ones, since temperatures will be milder. And get the boots ready for a couple of big storms nasty enough to close schools. If you're planning to ski, look way north for the best snow conditions. There's a good chance that far upstate New York will be the place that gets mountains of snow. Back in Yonkers, Tom Meyer is ready for a roller coaster winter. Where we'll get snow, we'll get warmer weather, it'll melt that, we'll get more snow, et cetera, et cetera. But he also expects at least one big surprise. Mother Nature throws a curveball, and we get that Arctic blast, and all bets are off. All yeah, right, you gotta be uh, ready. It does seem the roller coaster Absol anecdotally the last few years. Absolutely, right? more so than ever because yeah. we're seeing these extremes up and down, up and down right. to the climate change, and it's going to be a, probably the same this winter okay. too.